We are beginning a new topic today and it's on linear equations and linear inequalities. What are the objectives that we look forward to achieving at the end of this topic? At the end of this topic, you should be able to solve linear equations with one variable. You should be able to solve word problems involving linear equations with one variable. You should be able to solve linear inequalities with one variable. And you should be able to solve word problems involving linear inequalities with one variable. So let's begin with the first part of our topic, which is linear equations. Linear equations. Now, what is an equation? An equation is a numerical statement which involves the equal sign. An example is 3x plus 4 equal to 10. Now, we can see that we have this expression on the left hand side and this expression on the right hand side. So here we have 3x plus 4 as an expression on the left hand side. Then we have 10 on the right hand side. Now immediately you bring an equal to sign between 3x plus 4 and 10. We are saying that the whole thing turns into an equation. So this time 3x plus 4 is equal to 10. The expression on the left hand side is being linked to the expression on the right hand side by an equal to sign. So whenever you see any mathematical statement or any numerical statement which involves the equal to sign, we call that statement an equation. So 3x plus 4 is equal to 10. Because we have an equal to sign in this statement here, this whole statement is called an equation. Let's consider another type of equation or another example of equation. We have 5a minus 1 is equal to 7b. So in this case too, we have the expression 5a minus 1 on the left hand side. We have the expression 7b on the right hand side. Now 5a minus 1 is linked to 7b by the equal to sign here. So the whole expression, which is 5a minus 1 is equal to 7b, is called an equation because we have the equal to sign in this statement. In the same way, s squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 is also an equation because we have s squared minus 4x plus 3 being linked to 0 by this equal to sign here. So this is called an equation. Another example of an equation is y exponent 3 plus 2 y exponent 2 minus y plus 3 is equal to 5. So in this case 2, the expression that we have on the left hand side, which is this, is being linked to 5 by the equal to sign. So the whole statement here is called an equation. So we've, we've seen what an equation is. Now, what is a linear equation? An equation is linear if the highest power of the variable in the equation is 1. Now, what does this mean? We have this here, these terms here, you are going to explain them. You are going to explain them. Highest power and variable. Now, let's begin by explaining, by explaining variable. We learned from algebra that we have variables and coefficients. So, for example, in this equation here, we have the term 3x. Now, because x is a letter that keeps on changing, s can be a lot of numbers. s is called the variable because it varies, it changes. Here, we call 3, that is attached to s, or the number attached to the variable, the coefficient. So, in this equation here, s is called the variable or the letter in the equation. Now, so we've seen what a variable is. Let's move on to the next term, which is the highest power. We learned from indices that if we write a number, say 2 exponent or 2 with 5 on top of it like this, 
we call two here we call two as the base and five as the exponent the power or the index so five here is called the exponent the power or the index so what this term means is that if an equation is linear the highest power of the variable in the equation must be one now let's come here we know the variable what is the variable what is the power of the variable in this equation the variable in this equation is x the power of x is one we know that any number raised to the power one is the same number so x raised to the power one is x so whenever you see a variable a letter with no power on top of it it means that the power there is one so it means the power of x in this equation here is one so if the power of the variable in an equation is the highest power of the variable in the equation is one the equation is said to be linear so when you come here the only variable we have here is x and the power of x here is one which means that the highest power of the variable in this equation is one so this equation here is a linear equation all that is clear now let's come to the second example we have 5a minus 1 is equal to 7b we have two variables here now let's look at something the power of the variable a here is 1 the power of the variable b here is also 1 so here the highest power of the variable we have in this equation here is 1 because the power of the variable a is 1 and the power of the variable b is also 1 so because the highest power of the variable is 1 this equation is also a linear equation now let's come to this example the variable in this equation here is x now let's look at something the power of x here is 2 the power of x here is 1 so in this equation x has two powers it has the, the power 2 and the power 1 now between 2 and 1 we know that 2 is the highest so when you come to this equation we say that the highest power of the variable which is x the highest power of x is 2 because we, when you come here the power of x here is 2 and the power of x is 1 so the highest power is 2 now because the highest power is 2 this equation here is not linear because we the point says that for an equation to be linear the highest power of the variable must be 1 here the highest power of the variable is 2 so this is not a linear equation if you watch the video on quadratic equations you will see that this equation here is an example of a quadratic equation let's move on to the next example the variable we have in this example here is y now the power of y here is 3 the power of y in this term is 2 the power of y in this term is 1 how that is clear so what is the power highest power of y in this equation the highest power of y in this equation is 3 so we have power here 3 power here 2 and power here 1 now 3 is the highest so the highest power of the variable in this equation here is 3 now because the highest power of the variable in the equation is 3 it is not linear because an equation is linear if the highest power of the variable in the equation is 1 now because the highest power of the variable in this equation here is 3 it is not linear so we've seen that this is not linear this is this example here is not linear in the same way this example here is also not linear this is an example of a cubic equation in this video we are going to concern ourselves with linear equations let's move on the process of finding the value of the variable in the equation is called solving the equation now what does this mean when we come here we have seen that this example here is linear this is also linear so we are going to concern ourselves with these two examples from now on so we are going to concentrate on this one and this one okay the point says that the process of finding the value of the variable in the equation is called solving the equation now when you come here the variable in this equation here is x 
the process of finding x in this equation here is referred to as solving the equation so when a question tells you to solve an equation what it means is that find the value of the variable in the equation in the same way when we come here the variable in this equation here is a and b so the process of finding a and b is called solving the equation all that is clear so when a question tells you to solve an equation all that it wants you to do is to find the value of the variable in the equation so here the variable is x so if the question tells us to solve this equation what it means is that find x here when the question tells you to solve this equation what it means is that find a and find b i hope that is clear okay let's move on linear equations have only one solution now what does this mean we know that this equation here is linear now because this equation here is linear what this point is telling us that when you find x you are going to get only one answer for x or only one valuable only one value for x when you find x you are going to have only one solution because this equation here is linear in the same way 5a minus 1 is equal to 7b is also linear so when if you're able to find a you are going to have only one solution if you're able to find b you are going to have only one solution but because x squared minus 4s plus 3 is equal to 0 is quadratic because the highest power of x there is 2 because this equation here is quadratic if you're able to if you find x you are going to have two solutions x is going to give you two answers once again if you watch the video on quadratic equations you will see that when you find x in this equation when you find x in this equation here you are going to have two answers for x so here you are going to get x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 1 if you watch the video on quadratic equations you will understand how that solution is done or solving quadratic how solving quadratic equations is done you are going to have two solutions because it is not linear for linear equations you are going to have only one solution i hope that is clear now let's move on in the same way if you solve for y in this equation because the highest power of the variable is 3 and this is an example of a cubic equation if you solve for y you are going to have three solutions three different values for y so here you are going to have three different values for y when you solve for x you are going to have two different values for x in the same way when you solve for a here you are going to have just one solution because this is linear when you solve for x here, you are going to have just one solution for x because this is also linear now let's look at something we've seen that this equation here is linear this equation here is also linear but even though they are both linear you can spot some difference here we have only one variable which is x when you come here we have two variables we have a and b in this video and the subsequent ones we are going to concern ourselves with solving linear equations that have only one variable so in this video and the next we are going to consider solving linear equations of this type linear equations with only one variable if you want to understand how to solve linear equations with more than one variable watch the video on solving linear equations you solving simultaneous linear equations or solving linear equations simultaneously if you watch the video on solving simultaneous equations you understand how to solve linear equations with more than one variable in this video on linear equations we are going to concern ourselves with solving linear equations with only one variable thank you for watching this video on introduction to linear equations in the next video we are going to solve or we are going to see how to solve linear equations bye bye